guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, TX2K, a uh, little recap on this video. Um, we ended up going down to Texas. Uh, we drove 30 hours one way to get it there. But as you've seen in the first clip, we made good power on the dyno, it went really well. Uh, we ran out of injector, but uh, I'll show you guys a little bit, a uh, few clips on the dyno and see how it goes. I'm videoing, right? That's cool. Uh, I'm, I'm videoing, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Right. They, said, they said it's not a problem. Can you do it? Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? Pizza? Where are we at? Pizza Hut. No, where are we at now? Texas Pro Speed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So as you've seen, uh, we made 1720 wheel horsepower at uh, 70 pounds of boost, uh, 1100 foot-pounds of torque. So made really good power considering it's a low compression motor. We ended up changing the pistons a, a couple of weeks back. Uh, so it's an eight and a half compression. Um, so did pretty good. That's no nitrous because the nitrous, the solenoids, they ended up burning up. So. Yeah, it's pretty good power for for that that kind of setup but uh, we ended up going to the track uh, first we went to a track in houston which was it rained out so we went to try that this is a picture of when we went um, <laughs> um, so the day after we ended up going to uh, to TX2K, we did one pass and we actually heard the motor. This is the pass. So we did the pass at the end of the track, about a thousand foot, um, a lot of smoke coming out. Uh, the cash can seemed to have filled up. So we went back to the pits, we tried to fire it up. The car didn't sound right. When we try to crank it over, you can tell it it's, it's, doesn't, didn't sound right on two cylinders. So took it back to pro speed. Um, we did a compression test and cylinder two and cylinder four had literally zero compression. We did a leak down test. I don't know if you know what a leak down test. A leak down test is you can, you can put air through the cylinder and it'll tell you if it's coming through the intake or through the crankcase or through the turbo. So we did a leak down test and it was all going into the crankcase, which is no good. So that means either the piston were hurt or the uh, the rings are, are not sealing. So uh, thank you to ProSpeed. I mean, they let us use all their tools and everything. We took the head off and uh, we, saw, we found pistons that are burnt on the side. So as you can see in this picture. So after seeing that, we decided to take the block out. Um, we took it apart in the middle of the night at Pro Speed. 
Um, in the morning, we drove up to Aero Machine. I don't know if you guys, uh, it's the same shop that builds uh, Pro Speed cars. Um, but Scott there helped us out. We took the block apart and uh, fortunately it didn't look good. The rods were melted. Um, the pistons didn't look good at all. Um, so that kind of cut our trip short. Uh, we still stay stick around at the TX2K. We watched some races. Uh, Tony Phillips did a great pass, six second pass. Uh, Jack Couto uh, ran a 680 at 198, I believe, miles an hour. Uh, Joel Granas ran a 7050, which was pretty awesome for a six speed. So yeah, we had a we had a good time. We learned a lot. I, I learned that uh, a build at this caliber with methanol it needs a lot of fuel. Uh, we're talking about three gallons a pass. So yeah, we're gonna revise the fuel system, uh, the motor, the head and the block is still at Aero Machine. They're gonna build it and they're gonna ship it to me here. We're gonna put it back in the car and hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be back up and running. But uh, I would like to thank my friends, Karam, Alex. I'd like to thank my wife, Michelle, my, uh, my son, Hayden, um, and all the guys there in Texas, uh, Cody Phillips, Chris Delgado, Zach at Pro Speed, David, I mean, the, the whole nine years. If I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. But yeah, it was a great trip. Um, thank you all. We'll see you in the next video.